It is to see you again. Quite a pleasure. The diagrams, they're duplicates. Ready? In fact, yes. They are yours to take with my gratitude. Thanks. Farewell to you. Shout out to Neo Ryan Lim. Come Neo Ryan Lim. Damihan mo pa pag share ng mahanap mo na true love mo. Salamat Israel Lim. Damihan mo pa pag share ng mahanap mo na true love mo. How much for a herring? Crown a piece. Huh? I'll wait. Have it up from. Yes, it's all strange the bottle. Hey, all stick after Craft three dogs. days. What are they doing? Play. Overgrown wains, you see. Have you any children, Geralt? None. Oh, yes. Forgot witches is sterile. Well, don't just stare at me. Tell me what brings you. Your band. Chosen some interesting specimens. Interesting? How so? Common carouses are roughnecks. Every last one. Where'd you dig them up? Some have been with me ages. Others are gathered on the road. And a few found me themselves. They're company for drinking sports at least. And ever since I began traveling with them, my Nika old Lim, enemies have sat quiet like, as well. Nikolim, thank you for sharing your like din crush. First time I've seen a saber like that. What's its origin? A fear. It was a gift. Any soft-armed craven can hang a blade from his belt. Prance about feigning danger. But my saber's a promise. If I reach for it, heads will roll. Mere sight of it quells the urge to duel in shavers eager to face Olgier von Everett, the infamous outlaw. My medallion seems to think it's magic. <laughs> It thinks, eh? And I think you've never seen a better weapon. Keep wondering how you turned the Ophiri into a beast. The more I think about it, the more I'm sure it was no run-of-the-mill curse. This professional curiosity, or nosiness, is common as the clan. Desire to improve. Information could prove useful down the line. In the future, you under the delusion you'll complete your tasks. Live happily ever after. Remains to be seen. So for now, admit it. A mage helped you, right? Give you a hint. You're not the only one to fulfill wishes around here. Oh, Dim transformed the Ophiri? It was your wish? Nay. It was my doing alone. But you're right. It was no ordinary curse. Though I'll say no more. A curse I uttered in a moment of rage, with no thought to it actually taking hold. Tell me, how'd you meet the Ophiri you turned into a beast? Aren't you a nosy one? What's it matter? You like to talk about yourself. That I cannot deny. Ophiri was a dofa. You need slim Ojo, salamat sa paglike. I share mo narin para ilike din ni Crush. You fell for a lass. As it happened, this woman was already a poet. Salamat, you need slim Ojo. Damihan mo pa pag share ng mahanap mo na true love mo. By the time I was now compared to a noble from a foreign land, so her parents promised her hand to the Ophiri, though she loved me. If you'd only seen his feeble attempts at charm. When she asked why he travelled disguised as a common merchant, 
He said he was like the frog from the fairy tale. One kiss from her, and he turned into a prince. Wanted to be a frog. Became a frog. You ever play Gwent? An immortal demands you fulfill three wishes. And you've the gall to propose a round of Gwent. Afraid to lose? No problem. I'll find someone else. Believe that's the worst wind-up I've ever heard. Lay out your cards. Salamat Kenji, damihan mo pa pag-share ng mahanap mo na true love mo.
shite. Not much I detest more than losing. Well, my congratulations. This card's yours. Thanks. Vladimir sends his love. You spoke to him. Impossible. Did more than that. Fulfilled your wish. And talked to him extensively. Curious what he had to say? Fulfilled your wish. Your dead brother had himself one more day like those of old. Very easy to say. But have you got any proof? I do. Vladimir's hand is unmistakable. You've done well, Witcher. Is that all? Or have you something else? Gonna work on getting you Bersodi's house next. Best of luck. Enjoy. This the Brasodi Brothers auction house? Seems it. Private Kleiner, you're on duty. Need I remind you, fraternizing with civilians is not allowed. Purpose of your visit? Just curious. Redanian army regulars, right? Hans Corporal Vaclav reporting. And this bloke's my subordinate, Private Kleiner. Careful you don't piss yourself out of excitement. You say something, soldier. Not a thing. Shouldn't you be somewhere? There's a war on, you know. We was transferred here. All official. Written order 76 CWX. Mission, guard the auction house. Priority, high top, in fact. Borsodi fella knows his way about the court. Helps the high ranking sell their war booty. <laughs> Gets protection in return. Private Kleiner, that's confidential military information. Any of the owners home? Meaning the one and sole owner, the esteemed host Besodi. Aye, he is. Need to talk to him. Order 76 CWX is clear. Auctions only open to folk with invitations. Writ out in their names, plain and simple. Make an exception. That's the smart thing to do. Threats don't scare me. I've sworn to serve Redania till death do us part, and I'll keep my oath with a song on my lips. Careful, bugger means it. Gode, mater, Redania, truly fecunda nubili. Who have we here? Geralt, the Witcher of Rivia. Vimy Vivaldi, the banker from... Actually, where are you from? Matters little, mate. Gold knows no boundaries. What's all the fash, Corporal Batslav? Are you squabbling with my pal Geralt? Master Vivaldi, sir, your esteemed associate, he weren't invited to the auction, and I'm... But I plow and have been, and he's coming with me. In you go, Geralt. But my orders... Fuck your orders! Need I take this up with the sergeant? Ha! I thought not. No! Stand to attention and shut your giggy! Oh, the lads will be rolling back at the barracks. Sut it! 
Now march! Round you go! One, two, one, two! Appreciate the help. Just night. I've always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. Business with you's a pure pleasure, Vimy. The dear departed wifey claimed the same. Ah ha! Folk are assembling. Auction's about to start. Time we went upstairs. What did folk come to bid on? Any idea? All kinds of valuables. Rare weaponry, exotica. But I've got my eye on a selection of canvases by the master portraitists of the Maribor School. Van de Neu and Longendijk. Well, well. Never knew you to be a connoisseur. Of course I'm not. It's all muck and rubbish to me. Point of fact, I'll just wrap them in paper and lock them in the vault. Why in the world do... What do you mean, why, Geralt? I've got to diversify my investments, didn't I? Could have sworn the Borsodi's auction house was in Novigrad. It was, but they moved it. You see, Radovid offered Horst a preferential tax rate. Zero percent. Huh. Pretty much unbeatable. Aye. And I've near seen a purer example of the benevolent state. Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh. Might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Because? An awful hermit, that one. Not a wee bit like his da, my little a keep his soul. But, Horst is like to show his heed during the auction. I'll introduce you then. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only if I collect on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> All right, up we go. White gold and mother of pearl with topaz insects. Hmm. So a giant's. Or maybe a Jotun's. Aggressive harky silk trimmed with amethyst bees. Goblet of fire. Wonder what it is. Zeracanian spears. Excellent adornments for any parlor wall. <laughs> Good to know. Codex Redaniensis. Sole surviving copy. from the collection of the mage Aramis. Beautiful, but first blow would shatter them. Apage egg, white gold and mother of pearl with topaz insects. Geralt, you thought of buying real estate? Could get the attractive cams on a mortgage. Lovely sculpture. Probably end up adorning somebody's garden. Hmm. Auction won't start for a time yet, it seems. Vimy, this is a banquet. Aye? And? I detest banquets. Vacuous conversation, food portions fit for a mouse, drinks that taste like piss. Ah, it won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my most interesting associates. Old hand there is Countess Mignol. Wager you'll have plenty to blather about with her. <laughs> Prick in the corners, Hilbert. New coin, that one. Came into a right fortune playing quite. Ah, there's Yaramir, art dealer. A purer snob I've never known. But he knows paintings like no other. So... Ready to chat someone up? It's not fitting for us to stand here like knobs. <sighs> oh, smell it. Get... Greetings to the Honorable Countess. Madam, allow me to introduce my dear friend, Geralt of Rivia. Witcher of the School of the Wolf. Forgive me, but have we had the pleasure? No, but your guild is unmistakable. Your medallion. Take note, Geralt. Countess Mignol is an eminent collector of Vitaminaica. Vitamin... what now? All manner of objects related to the witcherly profession. Swords, gear, medallions. Well, 
mind if I ask how the Countess became interested in us, humble monster slayers? I've some pleasant associations, dating from my oh-so-distant youth. Did you see such things, Countess? You look right fetching to me. That's very kind, Master Vivaldi. But apart from my Vedomaniaca, I also own a number of mirrors. Your most prized piece? What would it be? An armor element. An antique. School of the Wolf. From 1234. Classic. Is it up for sale? I fear not. It's a memento. One of great sentimental value. But perhaps the Countess has got other Witcher curios she's willing to part with. Or acquire. Uh, perhaps she could trade. I'd charge 5%, a modest uh, uh, transaction fee. Vimy, never seen anyone so good at laying their mitts on coin that clinked within earshot. But what the hell? See if we can't make a deal. Does the Countess have her eye on anything particular today? No, but Horst Borsodi insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. Did he happen to say what it was? No. Oh, you know what he's like. A walking enigma. On another topic, Master Geralt, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Depends on the nature of the need. Oh, it's quite the trifle. I stepped out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes... Not a problem. I'll go right away. I shall be much obliged. See you in a minute, Vimy. <laughs> Spilled wine. I've Nothing no else. Hmm. There's no earring out here, is there? None. Maybe the Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me. I... God, this is so embarrassing. Do... Do you know Vesemir? He was a tin shorter than you, wore a mustache. Do I know him? Man taught me everything I know. What? How is he, if you don't mind my asking? Don't mind at all. But before I answer, I also wouldn't mind knowing how you knew each other. Oh, I've told no one. Not ever. But I suppose I owe you an explanation. It was the winter of 1234. A beast prowled the streets of Oxenford. A fledder, I believe. 
A contract was issued, a notice posted, and a witcher appeared. Vesemir, of the School of the Wolf. He came through our estate, tracking the beast. Our eyes met, something sparked. I wrote him a message, asked my governess to deliver it. He visited, under the cover of night, night after night. On one such occasion, my father heard something. Vesemir had to flee. So quickly, he left behind his gambeson. Ah, the first piece. The start of your collection. Yes, but also the end of our love. Father had an arrest warrant issued, then quickly married me off. I was fortunate. My husband died young, leaving me a sizable fortune. And thus, I have lived on memories. Afraid I have bad news. Oh? Please tell me. Did he at least die like a witcher? No. He died like a hero. <sighs> there is that. I thank you for tolerating a decrepit mad woman so elegantly. Please don't say that. I am old and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. And now, be so kind and leave me to my thoughts. Funny! Do you clive it? Albert, it's been years. Allow me to introduce you, Geralt of Rivia. Enchanted. Pleasure's all mine. How's it? Got your eye on any sparkly bits today? Not really. I buy what strikes me fancy. I need something right sumptuous for me walls just now. Nilfgaard. I get it right? Excuse me? Your Gwent deck. It's Nilfgaard, innit? Come on, admit it. Not a bad deck, Nilfgaard, but I'll take the Northern Realms over it any day. Ah, understood. A patriot. You ought to know, Helbert. Geralt here's a positively superb player. Superb! I've heard. Tawny at the Passiflora. Sat in on that, didn't ya? Mm-hmm. Pretty special as events go. That were nothing. Hmm. We got a minute before the auction starts, so... Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Maybe around? Hmm. Suppose it's not whether you win or lose. Sure, I'm game. Brilliant. I'll lay my cards out. Naturally. Uh, Geralt, might I have a wee word? What is it? Well, mate, seeing as I brought you together, I do believe I'm owed a share of your winnings, if there are any. Ten percent. A finder's fee of sorts, you can. Mm -hmm. Pretty clear now why you wanted us to meet. One cardinal bit I've learnt in my tree, friend. Coin, then a stink. So, what let me? Well, you did help with the guards at the door. All right. Ten percent of any winnings is yours. Any chance for a fifteen? Don't push it, Vimy. All right. Game on.
unbelievable. I don't buy it. You cheated. You must have or something. Hexed me or whatnot. Oh, I'd be careful with the gab, Hilbert. Afore Geralt takes a mind to demanding satisfaction. <laughs> you give it to him, you damn midget. You bearded pinch fist. Oh, ho, ho, ho. interest will be a right bit higher when that bugger next comes round asking for a loan. Hats off. Vivaldi. Yaramir! Uh, might we trouble you a wee spell? Mm hmm. Greetings, Vivaldi. Who's this? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. I thought you might have a blather with us. I put the paintings on the block today. Hmm? Ah, sniffing for a quick turnaround as usual, are we? Pot calling the kettle black, I'd say. Do a lively trade in canvases yourself, my friend. True. Yet first they delight my eyes, whereas you treat them as mere promissory notes. The only arts that interest you are those culinary. What about you, Witcher? Do you know anything about paintings? Realize this might be hard to believe, given my crude-looking mug. But yeah, I know a thing or two. Truly? We ought to see what. Do you know our friend Vivaldi is in possession of five canvases by Van der Nobe? Yet he cannot distinguish them from landscapes at five crowns apiece. I shan't pretend it's otherwise. Yet for you, my dear connoisseur Witcher, that should present not the slightest problem, so do tell which of these is the handiwork of Edward van der Nobe, the master from Maribor. Really? Merchant with the pearl, no two ways about it. My, my. Who would have thought? Hmm, might I have a word in private? Forgive me my impertinence. At first, I thought you an ignoramus. Vivaldi's equal. I feel I should apologize and atone, so I shall tell you a secret. A Van Roo is due to appear on the block. The painter's unknown largely, but has a fierce admirer in Marcus Hodgson, a bookseller, as his shop in Novigrad's main square. I wager you'll sell him the canvas at a tidy profit. Thanks. Oh, think nothing of it. Now, please excuse me. My friends, Becky. So, what did he tell you? To buy the Van Roo. Apparently this bookseller in Novigrad's willing to pay top coin for his work. Oh, who'd have thunk? All right, let's go. Ink spot upon ink spot. She a number of them's doing my heed in. Huh. Esteemed ladies, honorable gentlemen, the auction will begin shortly. Take your places, please. Ah, at long last. Come with me to the fore. I won't see much elseways. Ooh. Vimy, listen. 
Forgot to ask you, how's this auction going to work? They'll bring out three lots to start with. Once they've sold, or not, they'll be an intermission. Horse Basodi will probably appear then. That's when I'll introduce you. Counting on it. In the meantime, have you got a budget? You prepared to bid? If you think you can spot me a couple hundred. Of course, pal, and at a very favourable rate of interest. Just one crown on ten when you pay me back. Here, what to do you for a bit of daffering? Happy hunting to you! Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hereby open the auction. Ladies and gentlemen, lot number one is a brass figurine from the collection of the infamous Count Romilly. Rumour has it the figure harbours a treasure inside. A rumour one may prove or disprove solely by destroying the beautiful bauble itself. Starting price? Quite the bargain at 50 crowns. Any advance? With Master Hilbert at 100. To Countess Mignol, now at 150. Do I hear 200? Might I have an advance? Going once? Twice? Going thrice? The Honourable Yaramir enters a bid of 300. Any advance on three? 300 going. Countess Mignol at 350. Going once? Twice? Lot number one, the mysterious brass figurine, sold to Countess Mignol. Proceeding now to lot number two. A canvas by the young Novigrad artist Van Roe, Starry Night over the Pontar. Charming piece. Truly a bargain at 20 crowns. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 crowns, it's practically naught. Oh, we've a bidder, cat-eyed no less, at 20. Do I hear 30? Forgive me, Geralt, but business is business. 30 from Vimy Vivaldi. Do I see 40 anywhere? 30 going once, going twice. Aha! The white-haired gentleman bids 40. Who will bid more? 40 once, 40 twice. Vivaldi the bank is not about to give up easily. 50! Any advance on 50? 50 going once, going twice. Last chance, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we've a right bidding war here. 60, the excitement. An advance on 60. 60 going once, 60 going twice. Oh, all yours, Geralt. Sold Van Roo's starry night over the Pontar to the gentleman with the cat eyes. Lot number three, ladies and gentlemen. A true rarity, scarce as hen's teeth, spectacles. A frame of gold, mountain crystal lenses polished by the tiny dexterous hands of the gnome masters, once the property of the famed hired assassin known as the Professor. Starting price of 200 crowns. Anyone tempted? Gwent Maestro Hilbert offers an advance of 50. Do I have three? My, haven't we livened up? 300 from Yaramir Ivanovic Zaitsev. Going once, twice. <clears throat> Brilliant. With the gentleman with the white hair now at 350. What? I didn't. 350 once. 350 twice. And three, four. 400 now with Countess Mignol. Any advance on that? Going once, twice, thrice. And sold. The professor's spectacles go to the Countess. Oh, the excitement. With the three lots behind us, we'll go to an intermission. Amenities abound, please partake. We'll resume shortly. Oh, Geralt! Darwin Zosa, oh, salamat sa pag-like. I-share mo na rin para i-like din ni Crush. Just, well, don't expect a warm welcome. Greetings, horse. Allow me to introduce a dear friend and associate, Geralt of Rivia, who comes uninvited.
forgot my manners, forgive me. The teaching at Kaer Morin, well, etiquette wasn't high on the list. Scandalous. Hmm, that's plain to see. <laughs> Got the distinct impression the two of yous started off on the wrong foot. Perhaps we should raise a toast to... What's one like you want from one like me? Right, let's dispense with the niceties. Maximilian Borsotti's house. Gotta lay my hands on it, whatever it- What? Where did you learn of it? Gentlemen, no reason to lose our composure. Raise our voices. <laughs> I ask you, where did you learn of it? Whoa, come on now. Where? Doesn't matter. Willing to tell me what it is or not. Guards, escort the Witcher out. And he's not to enter, not alone, not hand in hand with Hierarch Hamelfart. Honestly, he asked a question. It was a simple inquiry. One more word, and I shall move my accounts to the competition. Sorry, mate, but... No reason to trouble the guards, Horst. I'll go willingly. I don't recall giving you a choice in the matter. Kick his swiving mutated ass out. Your swords, Master. Law says we're to return them. Law don't say when, though. So we'll do it, aye. Just after we beat the singing shite out of the honorable gentleman. Mm-hmm. Gathering place for the elite, truly. Come on, lads. Let's loosen our muscles a bit. Booger's going down! Oh, no. yeah. Law says if you see someone hurt, you should summon a medic. Law doesn't say how fast, though, so you can sit tight a while. Seems true what they say. Sword or no sword, a witcher brings gold. Not in the mood for your peasant wisdom. Who the hell are you? If all goes well, dare say I'm your partner. Don't need any partners. Oh, I don't know about that. No chance you'll lay your hands on Max Bosodi's house alone. Mm. How do you know I was looking for the house? I was at the option. Disguised, of course. That argument on the topic was hard to miss. Get to the point, if you can. To get this house, you need to get into the vault. And there's no way Horst will let you in there out of the kindness of his heart. A heist. Don't like that idea one bit. Got any others? Find the herbalist lives near Oxenford. Ask for some yarrow extract. He'll know why you've come. If this is a trap of some sort. Be seeing you. I hope. Honor in the fatherland. Oh. Death on three pounds of steel. Verily, I say it. Get to this hole. What's this? 
sworn one. The good news. Nothing for this. Rather efficient. That all you got to say? I saved your life. Pfft. We'd have disposed of that rabble easily. We? My, aren't we precise? You know what I mean. Now, are you here to trade or not, hmm? Wouldn't happen to have some yarrow extract. I do. In the back. Follow me, please. Come. Good. Remains to be seen. Aim to tell me something, I think. So talk. How do I put this? We share a goal. We both need to get into the Borsodi's vault. Both want something that's in there. Why not pool our strengths? Sorry, but what exactly is yours? I have a plan. Spent the last year working on it. On paper. Time to set it in motion. You one I can count on. Come on. I don't even know your name. What's that matter? Matters because you're clearly hiding something. Not just from me, either. Wouldn't be sitting in a cellar in this shit all otherwise. We've all some stain on our conscience. But I've not asked for your hand in marriage. Just for your help in a heist. We break in. Each take what we need. Then go our own ways. Try to trick me any way, anyhow. You won't go anywhere, you know that? Because I'll take your head off right where it meets your neck. I'm aware of the risks. So, now that you've threatened me and all, are you in? Or are you not? Before we go any further, you even know what Max Persodi's house is? I know it's in the vault. Didn't answer my question. Neither of you. Willing to help with the heist? Or not. The vault. What's in there for you? Something that was stolen from me. Mm, ought I go to the city watch, tell them a crime's been committed, not organize a heist? I've tried. Repeatedly. I see. Cheated by the system, wronged by the world. Doesn't matter. What did they take? List to take a good while. So I'd rather change the subject. You in or not? I'm not a thief. It's opportunity makes the thief, Witcher. I speak from experience. <sighs> Talk. Twenty Redanian soldiers guard the auction house, day and night. Patrols walk in circles around it, and here, past this corner, barracks. Brute force is out. Gotta get in quietly. Exactly. Not the simplest thing, though. Main entrance, armored door, windows, dimeridian bars, but... Not a fortress out there without a weakness. This one's different. Patience happens to be my weakness, so dispense with the dramatic pauses and talk. <clears throat> Beside the house stands a tower, from which we can enter the attic. We can't hope to enter the tower from the street on account of the patrols, but 
There's a window 60 feet off the ground. No shutters, no bars. We've got to get up there and sneak across to the auction house, then down the stairs to the cellar. Crack open or blow off the boat door, and voila! Looks bleak to me. Tower walls smooth as glass. Don't know about you, but I can't scale that and... And I've not asked you to. Let me finish. For this to work, we need two more accomplices. One to scale the tower, drop us a line. The other to open the vault. A safe cracker, or a demolition specialist. I've already identified some promising candidates. All we have to do is select and recruit the best among them. Also your job. I'd, uh, prefer to remain largely out of sight. Mm-hmm. Assumed as much given your hood. Anything else? I? Well, that's among the details. Which you will learn just as soon as you declare. <sighs> I don't really have any other options. So be it. I'm in. But on one condition. No one dies. That clear? As the great son of Nilfgaard. How about we knock back around? Talk some mutually beneficial relationship. Rather get to work. What comes first? First, you have to assemble a crew. Then, there's the Redanian patrols to cull a bit. Too many wandering around. We could get noticed. Din do Prado, salamat sa pag-like. I-share mo na rin para i-like din ni Crush. Breaking artist. Tell me about them. Assuming lack of vertigo to be the first requirement. <laughs> Precisely why my favorite's Eveline Gallo. A circus artist known better as the Urgen. Just now performing with her troupe somewhere near Oxenfurt. Her speciality is rhythmic gymnastics. <laughs> Breaking and entering. Not officially, no, but I've compared the route her troops taken with a list of the most audacious thefts in recent years. A perfect match. Highly doubt that's a coincidence. But if she's reluctant, we've another option in Hugo Hoff, alias Beef Patty. A half -win. Think he's fit? Pudgy face doesn't really match my image of a criminal. You'd be surprised. Hugo's notched up more break-ins than you felled monsters. More importantly, two years past, he nicked a gold-plated cock from the roof of the town hall in Novograd. So, the half man. Word has it, he's holed up in Oxenfurt, in a house near the Novograd gate. Be careful. He's modest in size, but apparently wicked dangerous. All right, opening the vault. Who do we have? Let's start with the fact that one of them's a dwarf. Casimir Bassi, native of Mahakam. A specialist in controlled explosions. Folks say he could blow Novograd to the high heavens with but a pinch of saltpeter. Bolt door for him should be a cinch. The problem is, Casimir apparently hung up his detonators some time ago. He married, sired some littler ones, and settled in the village of Almas. My plane turns down. Any options? Quinto, the North's most famed safe cracker. Arrest warrants out on him in Kedwin, Lyria, Angrin, and Kavir. Sadly, he got nabbed a few days back by one Hans of Sidaris. A prick mercenary. I know the man. Slew an arch griffin for him. Mean fiend, pretty much. Hands or the beast? Both, actually. <sighs> so I'd have to rip one from his cozy home, the other from a cozy cage. Need to think about it. What's this about culling the patrols? I told you, no one dies. Easy. I don't want anyone's death. Just need some folk to be temporarily indisposed. Spit it out. You! Got to approach the garrison's cook. Convince him to spy the soldiers' nosh with something to keep some of them bedridden. One in two, let's say. Wouldn't want to raise suspicions. Hmm. Know the formula for a potion that might do the trick. Then, see? Brew up a bit of that. Hit the town, find the cook, then convince him to do you a favor. 
I don't know, cast a spell, toss him some coin. You can also use your fists. All right, I'm off. Got a bit to do. As do I. Get it all done, and we'll meet back here. What then? Then, we'll bug a horse up, down and sideways, all together. Let's dance. The one and only. A pleasure. But who might you be? Whoa! I'll have no pleasure here. Witcher, keep clear of the cage. Right? What did he do to step on your toes? Ours? Not ours. But he stuck sticks up a number of bankers' asses. Put a tidy price on his head, they did. 
And as Master Hands of Sidaris is an enterprising individual, he decided to nab me and claim the reward. Anyone give you leave to talk? Shut your trap! I need Quinto. Alive. And I need coin. Lots of it. Lucky thing I don't much care who pays me. You, or the bankers. Just as I said, an enterprising individual. And just as I said, clamp it shut. Stop interrupting. Where was I? Right. Want me to let him go? Pay up. Same as the wanted posters say. Buy him out? Pretty pedestrian. How about we play a round of cards for Quinto's freedom? Hmm, why not? But lose and the price on his head'll double. You in? What the hell? I'm game. Got my fingers crossed.
Robert Imprio Semifrenia salamat sa pag-like, i-share mo na rin para i-like din ni Crush. Salamat Daryl Albo Race. Pag-share ng mahanap mo na true love mo. Pass for me too. Let's total it up. I win. Heavy-handed hands, the Tretagor maneuver. With cards like that. Get him out of here before I fucking burst her. What? How did you? Fishbone. Did it yesterday. I was waiting for a lull to slip out, which I showed up before I could. Let that be my recommendation. Now, do tell. What's it you need me for? I need you to open something for me. Something bigger than a cage. Sounds interesting. Dying to hear the details. Herbalist's hut near Oxenford. Knock on the door. Ask for yarrow extract. you say it to a hand or two of Gwent? Uh, not gonna try to sell me something first? My goons are not swallows. They will not flip nor flee. Cards won't either. Do you wish to split hairs all day or play Gwent, hmm? So, should we lay him down? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you need not ask twice. Just once and your gut in good peace.
Huh? Hey now! Welcome, welcome. Uh, not gonna try. What? Cards won't. Do you wish to? Like to. Ah. Uh. Feels like you might have missed your calling. Oh. Curious conclusion, why? Well, should be Hawking Goods. Instead, Gwent's all you talk about. Hmm. You're right. So, care for a match. Should be going. If ever you need a partner for Gwent, you know where to find me. Should have stayed in the forest with my baby. Might at least have died with dignity. The minute we're in trouble, you make me responsible for getting us out. As in Maribor. Remember Maribor? Dove, please don't change the subject. Mind if I do? That depends. Who might you be? Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. You Eveline Gallo? The Ermine? Only to friends. Calm down, Merrin. No need to puff up. And you? Talk. What do you want? Rather talk eye to eye. Everline conceals nothing from me, and... And you were to help set up the benches. Immediately. Uh, but... Very well, once again. What do you want? Got a job for you. Truly? Of what nature? Hmm. Anonymous performance. No audience. At a certain... Auction house. Pays as much as you can carry. Hmm. You've none of a Fink's features. But you see, I've a problem. All right, out with it. What's this problem? See, we were to do a show. The tickets have all sold. Alas, our friend and colleague, Hawkeye Van, well, he's gone blind. Drank some hooch from a questionable source. A sad story, but not the point. The crowd awaits, so either we find a replacement for him, or we shall have to return the coin. All good and fine, but not spent it already. Ah, I think I know where this is going. And I shall get straight to the point. Stand in for Van, and I shall help you. What do I have to do? Jump through some flaming hoops? No. Shoot your crossbow, hit a target. Not a bad shot with my crossbow. Why not? I'm in. Splendid. So, shall we begin? Folk have grown nervous. What? Mean now? No rehearsals? What's there to rehearse? You're to shoot and hit a target. All right. Do or die. Let's begin. That I like. A man who boldly dares damn the risks. Come! And now, good folk, the highlight of our program. Standing before you, Geralt of Rivia, victor of markmanship contest in Angren, Dol Blathana, and Lobinden. What? But I... Shh! Geralt! Grab your crossbow and get to work! What's that? Shoot! Thank <laughs> you. 
cross-eyed or what? We end with an audacious feat by Geralt of Rivia. We thank you for attending and hope to see you soon. It's a shame that man didn't shoot the elf. That would have been brilliant. You know, I doubted I'd emerge from that ordeal in one piece. Fine work, Geralt. Well, one performance down. What of the next? Herbalist has a hut near here. Ring a bell? Go see him and ask for some yarrow extract. Ooh, a mystery. I adore mysteries. Till later, Witcher. Lance Corporal Vatslav. How'd that prick wind up with us? Volunteered. Word is he had to bribe the medics to let him enlist. He mad or what? And that's just it. Certifiably insane. Didn't pass the tests, apparently. But to pay hard coin to enter the army? I thought at my age nothing could surprise me. Nothing about the cook. What do you have to say? That's a horse or so. You're a doctor. Why do you ask? Well, think of it. To marry into a dynasty like that, it'd be like living in Clover. Trust me, you do better not to take any interest in the Vasodis. Why the hell not? It can only bring trouble, mate. Only trouble. Hmm, nothing interesting. What do you have to say? Fish chowder for soup of the day. Not true. Good. No one came through the western gate the morning. Saw Martin on the pier, rod in hand, fishing. Cook like that's the right treasure he is. No griping about poor supplies. Just a gumption to enrich our gruel. Nah, uh, aye. If only he'd go a bit lighter on the garlic. Here near the western ah! gate. Fuck. Should be easy enough to find. Ah! 
Arme. Biting? Aye, they're biting. What about you? What's that? Got this mixture. Pay you to pour it in the soup for the boys at the garrison, on my signal. Nothing dangerous about it. Most they'll think is that the fish wasn't exactly fresh. It'll cost you, mate. Something dear. Fine. Here. Wait for the signal, and mum's the word, understood? And Countess Yvonne of Lanexeter's necklace. Your handiwork, wasn't it? It was. I scaled a gutter, entered her bedchamber. Ha! <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. Ah, at last, we're all here. Time to begin. This heist, it's no jest. So if any of you has any doubts, isn't sure, now's the time to leave. Won't be able to after. The Borsodi's auction house, it's vault. That's our target. Have a line you'll enter through the tower when the patrol rounds this corner. Drop us a line. We have to be inside within five minutes as I'm off. It's plenty. Splendid. Once we're all in the tower, we'll proceed to the auction house. Shouldn't see any guards inside. If we do, we'll have Geralt and his blades. Then, downstairs to the vault. Quinto will crack the lock. We get in the vault, take the loot, disappear out the back through a secret passage. I've said my piece. Any questions? Hmm. All good and fine, except... What if something goes wrong? Seriously. You're on your own. We all are. Just like that. No room for friendship in this business. Additional security measures. Traps. Any inside? Anything we need to watch out for? Nothing particularly dangerous. Here on the ground floor, there's a rope linked to the bell in the tower. Anyone sounds the alarm, there'll be trouble. How do we stop it from ringing? Don't pull the rope. As I said, the auction house ought to be empty. I don't expect any problems. What about the vault? How is it secured? With a door. But you ought to be able to handle it. Any other problems, we resolve as they come. Anything else? Got a horse sense take on this. Secret passage. If we plan to use it on the way out, why not on the way in? Excellent question. Why not? Every corridor has two ends, right? Like a rope. I know the location of just one end, 
it's in the vault. The other, it's somewhere beneath the city. But I can't tell you where. <laughs> Great. But if you were to... Find that location, I wouldn't need any of you. Believe you me, I've tried. Time and again. Anything else? Let's get to work. I want to be done with this as soon as possible. We'll reconvene in the gateway beside the tower. Midnight sharp. And everyone's to make sure they're not followed. I'll get word to the cook in the barracks. What about wearing masks? Not a city in the north that don't have wanted posters with my likeness hanging about. I'll tend to that. Ah, one last thing. Inform the city watch. Blabber anything about this over a nail. And I'll kill you. With the old man. If you're so damned scared somebody will talk, let's all go there together. Now. Any objections? Anyone need more time? On our way, then. Let's begin. Prime. Just one patrol. Mixture of yours must have worked. Eveline, you ready? Are you kidding? Of course I am. Three, two, one. your way. Plowing city foul, shite all over again. Memory serves. You assured us there be no one inside. Seems my informer was wrong. Is that all you've got to say? I nearly broke my neck. You knew what you were signing up for. This is no time to argue. Not the time, true. But we'll discuss this later. You can be sure of that. At your service, mate. One guard could mean many more. You'd best draw your sword now. No. What now? No one dies. Said so from the start.
Whatever. Don your masks and let's go. Letters must be old. String seems to say so too. It was true love. For now, knock on wood. Good. Eyes in the back of your heads, everyone. Mine are open. I've already seen several things I'd glad. Yes, but we shall raise the starting. Watch this. Guards! Guards! Should have stayed in that cage. You said. I damn well know what I said. At them before they sound the alarm. to flee! Lock themselves in. Bollocks! Damn it. Lay down your arms! You have no chance! Perhaps not. <laughs> but we do have hostages. Mercy, Master! On the count of three, we go in! One! Two! <laughs> Come one step closer and folk will die! Hold now! We must negotiate. What are your demands? To release the hostages? Buy us a bit of time, Geralt. We have one demand. Pull back from the auction house. You know I cannot do that! You can. Just not sure you want to. How about I help you decide? Kill a hostage. Just do what they want! I beg you! <laughs> Calm yourself. No one is to be harmed, clear? Nothing simpler. So long as you take your boys and pull out, we'll all live happily ever after. I repeat, that is not an option. We must bargain, reach an agreement. See if I can't make this clear. We're not at a food market. No bargains to be made here. Lives are at stake. I understand. I do. But... No buts. Gonna count to three, then heads will roll. One... God have mercy! Just do what he asks! Y you leave me no choice. Two... Attack! Oops. Tip the scales.
splendid job you did there. Oh, Witcher, not your negotiator. Where's Eveline? Just fled. All the better. Fewer hands reaching out for loot. Come on before reinforcements arrive. Francis Felix, salamat sa pag-like ng page, paklik na rin ng follow. The lock, lovingly crafted. Two spring-loaded bolts, cylindrical plugs, Dameritian wards. I'm not interested. No one's interested. We go in. Geralt, you're at the fore. Why me? It's why I hired you. Now move, with no time. Mm -hmm. Do or die. Same paintings were on the block. 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 They're in the vault! Put themselves in! You'll pay for this! Battering ram! Run and get a ram! Same paintings were on the block, including this fine piece by Van der Nob. The master from Maribor.
You don't know who you're fucking with. On the contrary, I know all too well. Yeah. You old? Greetings, brother. Been years. Well, well. Complications, complications. Think you owe us an explanation, you old Borsodi. This family reunion. What's the point? Revenge. For betrayal. Years of poverty. Humiliation. Father left the auction house to me in his will. Horst cheated me. Had me disinherited. Anything. Everything we earned, you squandered on cards and whores. Father didn't see that. I did. That's no excuse, Horst. And it won't save your life. You two, stand with me. I'll not let the Redanians lay a hand on you. Give you whatever you want. A desperate attempt at bribery going once, twice, thrice. Hmm. No takers, no sale. Speak for yourself. Tempting offer. I've succumbed. You'll pay for that, Quinto. With your head. At them! I'd have preferred to resolve this elsewise. Stolen the scrolls, thrown you out into the street. Revenge is best served cold, after all. But I don't mind serving it hot. No. I beg you. Mercy. For your brother. I shall do anything you ask. Truly. Anything. Anything. Sign over to me. All that you own. Then walk out as you stand. Just the clothing on your back. Allow me one thing. Any one thing. Fifteen years. In the sewers. Men. Like a beast. And you the cheek. To plead. Satisfied? Exceptionally. You? No, and I won't be until I find Max Bersodi's house. In this vault, or so you said. And it is. There. But I fear it's not yours for the taking. You see, it houses my father's will. A scroll thanks to which Ewald Borsodi, long missing, will assume the family. Fortune. And Geralt of Rivia, who you cheated, what'll he assume? 
Alas, but he's free to choose anything else. Don't provoke me. Never know. Might choose to take your head. You're wounded. Tired. Figure my chances are good. I could drop you easily, but maybe I don't have to. We could try to figure this out. A compromise looks unlikely. We both want Max's house. Not quite. You just need the contents. Me, the box. The downstairs! So be it. Seal it with a handshake. Give me the damn casket, and let's get out of here. As you wish. This way. Now, Wolf. Well, here's where our paths part. Shut up. Was I that bad? No, but you came awfully close, Yuld. Survived by a hair. You ever have a basilisk hide or fiend horns and want a good price? Look for me at the auction house. Mm-hmm. Consider it noted.
fuck? something for you. I love gifts, but I prefer to unwrap them in private. Oi, lads, mind the barrels. Going out for a jabber with Geralt. Cool. Oh, that's better. All right, what do you have for me? Max Brasoli's house, as requested. Papers. Where are they? Left them in the vault. You wanted the house, you got the house. Never mentioned its contents. You're a quick study. Already as tricky as Odim himself. Keen to ridicule a man. Do you know what I and the company do with your type? No. Dying to hear, though. Always liked a tale with a thrill. I'm in no mood for jests. Neither am I. Did my job, Olgird. Delivered what you asked for, to the letter. Unhappy? Hell, should have chosen your words more carefully. Yes, I should have. I assume you came to an agreement with Horst. Shame. A right horse in that one. Made a deal with his brother, who then beat the living shit out of Horst with a gold candle holder. Huh. <laughs> it's progress. Why did you even need those papers? To sink the Borsodes, naturally. You see, I learned of an interesting clause in old man Maximilian's will. It states that his sons must meet and shake hands in agreement at least once a year at Bellaté. Failing that, the auction house must be auctioned off. The proceeds to go to Bill Maria's hospital. Guess the old man sensed what might happen. Aim to deliver those papers to the right hands. Borsodi would have landed in the streets. But the hospital would have gotten the funds it needs to treat orphans and beggars pro bono. Awfully noble of you, showing so much concern for the needy. I couldn't give a rat's ass about the needy. May they wither and disappear along with the city. I wanted one thing. Revenge. The Borsodis. What's your gripe? Get kicked out of an auction? Worse. They evicted me from a home. Are you really interested? Wouldn't have asked if I wasn't. Ha! <laughs> Cheeky as ever. My family. They took on some debt. A poor investment in a sawmill. A bad crop one year. A lawsuit lost. You know how it is. When it rains, it pours. We needed but a few weeks to recover. But Horst Borsodi had acquired our debt. All of it. Demanded it be repaired immediately. I pleaded. I begged. I tore open my shirt at his threshold. Ugh. It was like talking to a wall. I went to the auction, saw those perfumed pricks by my father's sword, my mother's death mask, my brother's horse tack. Ah, Horst earned a pretty pile selling our mementos. No surprise the animosity you feel for him. That was but the start. My Iris's parents learned of my family's misfortune, and our betrothal was no more. They found her another suitor. One from beyond the sea. The anger I felt. I thought I'd gone mad. Went to the tavern. Drank around. A second. I brawled. Then had another tanker. And then... Then... I asked the wrong bloke for help.
what happened then. Ah, what happened then, Witcher, was one big stinking pile of shite. Well, why do you stand there? Do you need something still? Third wish. Time you stated it. A moment, Geralt. I will say to something. Then we'll chat. You there. Yank the herring out the barrel. None of this dallying. Oh, oh, oh. Now, ready to listen? Or do you still not give two shites about what I've got to say? I'm ready. I'm listening. Good. You'll return to your lord and tell him as follows. His demand was brazen. Hurt me to the core. For I was brought up to respect the sacred law of hospitality. And I shall not bend to an uncouth boar's dictum. Understood. I will pay him a visit shortly to test his willingness to adapt. So you ride off and announce me. And don't spare your horse. Got it? Aye, got it. Give this man a mount and leave him go. Come with you. We must talk outside. The Afiri believe one should only discuss important matters out of doors, with the gods as witnesses. Beryl, what was that about? On the way here, we stopped for nourishment at a tavern belonging to one Lord Dauntless. We enjoyed ourselves as one does at an inn. Raucously. Our antics were not to the liking of this dauntless. Sent a man to warn us that if we were ever to return, we would hang. You burned the inn down? I left ample compensation with the innkeep. But it seems the rapscallion neglected to mention this to his lord. But that's of little import. What matters is someone called me a horse and threatened to kill me. It was one of those threats that sound like an invitation. I intend to accept it. Return to those paths. Must have made quite a few enemies along the way. Maybe not today and not tomorrow, but someday, someone will find a way to take you down. And that should trouble me why. I feel no fear, no regret. The wise men of Oxen to claim there are no gods. After death, there is only the void. I've known this void already. Death holds no surprises. Fulfilled two of your wishes. Time I learned the third. Confident, aren't you? Proud, sure of your strengths. Fearless. Third task, if you don't mind. Mutations. They stripped you of emotion. Tell me, have you ever loved? I mean, truly loved? You don't give a shit, old Geard. You'd make piss poor company for a talk about love anyway. Third wish, still waiting to hear it. Why, aren't you stubborn? Fine. Listen well. I had a wife once. The day I saw her last, I gave her a rose. A violet one. Bring me that blue. Wouldn't mind reminding myself what it looks like. <sighs> when was that? How long's it been? Flowers wilted and turned to dust by now. You wished to hear a wish. Now you have. Fulfill it. 
I ride now to visit this Dauntless, but one of my men will remain here. He'll know how to find me. That is, of course, should you succeed. At least you can tell me where your wife is. In my old manor, east of Martin Foy's farmstead. I'd wish you Godspeed, but, well, you understand, I'm sure. Goodbye, Geralt. Long live Radovid! Oh.